shooting rampage. Um, and yesterday was a really bad day for him, and this is what he did. And so we are in a state of emergency. Okay, white supremacist violence is and always has been the number one threat to our society. But I'm also very proud that my wife is white. My wife is white. The, the Breakfast Club, bitches. All right, Tony, please tell me, why was I your donkey of the day? Donkey of the day for Friday, May 17th goes to Marjorie Taylor Greene and all the hypocrites in the Republican Party who can dish it but can't take it, okay? Listen, do yourself the biggest favor and go find the video of this House Oversight Committee meeting that happened last night. See, the meeting was supposed to be about a resolution recommending Attorney General Mer Merrick Garland be held in contempt of Congress, but it quickly turned into AOC and Jasmine Crockett having to defend themselves. <laughs> against the insults from that bully named Marjorie Taylor Greene. All Jasmine did was ask a simple question and Marjorie Taylor Greene decided to insult her for no reason. Let's listen. I'd like to know if any of the Democrats on this committee are employing uh, Judge Mershon's daughter. Please tell me what that has to do with Mary Garland. Is she a porn star? Mm -hmm. Oh, Goldman, that's right. He's advising. Okay. He's advising who? What? Do, you, do you know what we're here for? You know we're here about uh, just AG. To, uh, I don't think you know what you're here for. Well, you the one talking about. I, guess I, I think your fake eyelashes are messing up. No, what you're ain't nothing. Hold on, hold on. Listen. Order, Mr. Chairman. That's beneath would even you order, 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 order of your committee. Order, now what's please. that? Now, was that necessary? Mm -hmm. Was it necessary for Marjorie Taylor Greene to respond to a simple question from uh, Congresswoman Jasmine Crockett like that? Of course it wasn't necessary, but I like it. And I like how AOC came to the defense of Marjorie Taylor Greene, but she didn't go far enough. Let's listen. Mister, I do have a point of order, and I would like uh, to move to, to take down Ms. Greene's words. That is absolutely okay. unacceptable. How dare you uh, 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 attack Wilson the fan, physical Lady appearance Wilson of another fan. person? Are your Move feelings hurt? her words <gasps> down. Aww. Oh, oh, girl, baby girl. <laughs> oh, really? Don't even... Play, baby girl. We're gonna, I don't we are going to move and we're going to take your words down. Thank I you second that motion. See, I tell you all the time that the craziest people in America come from the Bronx and all of Florida. You almost saw the crazy from the BX come out of AOC, but she held back. I didn't like that. I'm sick of Democrats still trying to play the game of politics. I'm sick of Democrats mincing words and shrinking when the white supremacists in the Democratic Party try to play them. Marjorie told you, AOC, that you don't have the intelligence for a debate. We'll get to that. But that right there was the green light to give her everything she was asking for. And then Marjorie Taylor Greene, she, 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 she's a top tier troll grade A agitator, princess of pissing people off. And she said one simple line that will make you want to swing on a person when they say it. And that's all your feelings hurt. Mm. See, the reason that line makes you want to swing on a person is because that person is admitting that their intention is to hurt your feelings. You could not even be bothered by a person's comment. You just responding like AOC was to tell Marjorie Taylor Greene that's not acceptable. And she replies, are your feelings hurt? You asking me that because your intention was to hurt my feelings. So since that's your intention, since you want a limbo, let's go to Howden. Okay, Marjorie Taylor Greene thought she was cooking. Marjorie Taylor Greene thought her little eyelash comment cut <laughs> deep. All right, she said that because she was intending to hurt Jasmine Crockett's feelings. Well, damn it, Jasmine Crockett decided to rip up that useless play that Michelle Obama drew up years ago. And that play is when they go low, we go high. No, that was that was 2016. That's a lifetime ago. That quote is like Phil Jackson's triangle offense. And all it's doing is getting a bunch of Democrats killed in 2024. It don't work no more. When they go low, you got to go to the floor with them. And sometimes you got to take it to hell. Jasmine Crockett didn't take it to hell, but she damn sure decided to get on the floor and break dance with her. Let's listen. Miss Crockett. I'm just curious, just to better understand your ruling, if someone on this committee then starts talking about somebody's bleach blonde, bad built butch body, Ooh. that would not be engaging in personalities, mm. correct? A, a what now? <laughs> <laughs> Chairman, I'm I, make to, a, I make a motion to strike those I, words. I don't, I don't think that's Hold a on. part I'm of I'm trying it. to find clarification <laughs> on what, we're not gonna, we're not gonna do this. Look, you guys earlier literally just- <laughs> oh, you, you just, you just, just voted to do it. did it first, so you voted to do it. Order, order. I'm trying to get clarification. Look at, calm down. Calm no, down. no, 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 because this is what y'all do. So I'm trying hey, to get Ms. your Crockett, attention. You're not recognized. Not like, Crockett. I can't hear you with your and yelling. You don't want calm me to down. Be, no, Can you please calm don't down. Don't tell me to calm oh, down calm because y'all talk calm noise down. and then you you're out of control. Because if I Look, come, if I come and talk about her, y'all gonna have a problem. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman. Round of applause for Jasmine Crockett. Absolutely. Drop on a bomb for Jasmine Crockett.
We need all that energy from now until forever. I've been telling you on this radio, thanks to Donald Trump, the language of politics is dead, and Republicans say what they want when they want, and they are more sincere about their lies than Democrats are about their truth. You know why? Because Democrats are lying. They're walking around with smiles on their faces, trying to take the high road, trying to say the right things, when the reality is they all want to talk like Jasmine Crockett is talking right there. But for whatever reason, they'd be scared to. We need more Democrats like Jasmine Crockett and less Democrats like everybody else. No more scary, weak, docile Democrats scared to say what's on their mind. Now, you saw the hypocrisy in real time in this situation. Democrats repeatedly demanded for Green's words to be struck from the record. Eventually, Congressman uh, Comer ruled that Green's insult of Crockett did not violate House rules against engaging in personality. So basically, it's cool when they do it. But when Jasmine did it, everybody's like, calm down. Stop. Okay, <laughs> stop. All right, it's a problem now. F all that. The language of politics is dead. Jasmine, pop your. Sh okay, hey. all y'all young Democrats, pop your. Sh As you see, when you do, you energize the culture because if y'all don't care, then why should we? Now, Marjorie, in true gangster Republican fashion, refused to apologize. Do we have that? Let's listen. Every single time we hold a committee hearing, an oversight committee, the Democrats attack President Trump repeatedly. Doesn't matter what the issue is, doesn't matter what the topic is, they can't produce facts, they can't produce anything to make your, their arguments. They make it about personal character attacks on the former president of the United States and our Republican presidential candidate. Also, uh, members of this committee attack me repeatedly over and over and over again. <laughs> But they're offended when I say something back, and I will not apologize for my words, and I, I will not change them, and I will not uh, tolerate being treated this way constantly mm. on this committee and in other committees. I respect it. Apologize for what? I said what I said, and I meant it, okay? I don't want her apologizing for what she says is her truth because I don't want Jasmine and other Democrats to have to apologize for theirs when they speak it. We need everybody shooting. We need everybody speaking their mind. Do you understand the world we live in? Do you understand the, cu the culture? If you do, then you will know why speaking truth to power is more important now than ever before. Now, if you need help, we got you. Okay, Jess Hilaria said earlier that this made her want to be in politics. I showed her who Marjorie Taylor Greene was because I wanted to know how she would handle this if she was in this situation. Now, Jess, let's let's role play a little bit. You a member of Congress, right? You hear Jasmine say you bleach, blonde, bad, built, butch body. How you coming to your de your girl's defense against Marjorie Taylor Greene? She did good. I don't think she did enough. I'm looking at this woman. And they also called her baby girl. And you don't call somebody baby girl who looks like the male version of Owen Wilson. Oh. Yeah. Like oh. She looked like she went to Dr. Miami and said, give me the Caitlyn Jenner. Oh. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay. It's crazy. She could even fix something off to say something like that with no lips. Mm. Like, I don't like yes. that. Like that. She mm. built upside down. She looked like Paul from Tekken. That's oh, true. Whoa. That's Ooh. true. Oh, I never seen an ass go in reverse. No. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. that's Can I true. give a shout out? No. Oh my God, no. That, and she looked like Sean Wayne's from White Chicks. She looked like, she look like she Sean, Sean Wayne's from White Chicks. Because like, he was yes. the strongest looking one. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. She looked pretty strong. She okay. is built like if Jay-Z and the Deltas threw up their sign, they would throw it up upside down. <laughs> oh. She is built like She's that. She's like a wrestler. That's like, right. Like, what are you talking about, that's baby right. girl? Listen, what? Democrats, stop being afraid to shoot. This is why we call y'all cowards. Salute to Jasmine Crockett for not being scared. Please let Chelsea Handler give Marjorie Taylor Green the biggest hee-haw. Hee-haw, hee-haw. That is way too much Dan Mayonnaise. You upset because that's your type. I huh, just Darnell? want to give a shout wow. out to the hype. Oh, Marjorie Taylor Green is your type. You be in Ohio, that whole Donnell land thing you're going at, to gonna the be river. full of oh, that river is full of women that look like Marjorie Taylor Green. Yeah, you got some big backs out there, but I just want to tell you <laughs> shout out. Give a shout out to all the bad built bitches baking bean pies and beef patties in Brooklyn. That's my Susie Susie Shoe Seashore, whatever that is. Okay. You know what I'm talking about. All right. And shout out to all the big back bad bitches baking bean pies that's gonna float down the river for Donnell Rollins. Memorial Day. And they all look and like Marjorie Taylor Greene. if you want to know and register for a bad bitch baking bean pies in Brooklyn, go to DonnellRollins.com and we can give you all the information to have a wonderful bad bitch baking bean pies in Brooklyn float mm. down the birch bark canoe. Every single right. woman that, every, day, every right? single woman right. that come there <laughs> gonna look like Marjorie Taylor Greene. They all, right. all, they all look like they the, they, yeah, yes, they all look flip flops, like, muscle face. Yeah, they all, all right, look right, like they the mascot it. for the Washington right. January six. <laughs> all right, donkey of the day is sponsored by renowned personal injury attorney Michael the Bull Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey when you need a fighter on your side. If you're ever injured, go to michaelthebull.com. That's michaelthebull.com. And when you mess with the bull, you get the horns. 
Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.